Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Plays, Oxygen Not Included. This time it's the automation update and we did do uh, a couple of seasons, depending on the way that you want to describe them, in Oxygen Not Included uh, earlier this year, around like February of 2017. I became cognizant of the fact that my channel essentially, it doesn't have something for everybody. I like to keep something in like every spot on the Trivial Pursuit pie. Right now we got two battle royales, Isaac, which maintains a spot for itself. Twitch VODs, of course. Hand of Fate 2, but that's starting to wind down. I'm missing that strategy element. I'm missing that green piece of Trivial Pursuit. Uh, so I asked people on Twitter, hey, you want to see me go back to Dead Cells or Oxygen Not Included? Oxygen Not Included won out by a little bit, and I'm excited about that. But I just want to say, as a quick aside, I will be playing some Dead Cells, the new update, but probably like... On Twitch, maybe. Maybe a little closer to release. Don't feel bad if you're a Dead Cells fan. That's coming back as well. So the automation update has me really interested. If you're not familiar with Oxygen Not Included, Clay Games, uh, the makers of Don't Starve, as well as Mark of the Ninja, many other games, um, has made a colony simulator, kind of like a side-scrolling uh, diorama version of RimWorld, or, you know, D Dwarf Fortress or something like that. But the new update, I'll, I'll just start it up here because... Uh, Sometimes it can take a minute to load. Uh, the new update adds in, and I, this is, I'm opening myself up to like DAE programmer, so, uh, arrays start at zero, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it adds Boolean logic and sensors related to it, which allows you to sort of automate your base. So you can have sensors for like temperature, barometric pressure, um, weight, like pressure plates and stuff like that, time, and uh, here's an example that you could have. Uh, maybe you don't want to run. Uh, your bathroom at night. You could have a switch connected to the power line that leads to your bathroom, connected to a sensor, and when it senses that it's 10 p.m. or whatever time your replicants choose to go to bed at, it automatically turns it off. That I think it adds enough of a, a relevant layer for us to uh, go back to Oxygen Not Included, but I will probably still suck. It has been a while since I've played. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Um, so we want, I mean, a level 15 replicant right or duplicate sorry right off the back is absurd we need someone who's good at digging so we have someone right here athletics really helps us i think get like the hauling jobs and stuff like that done quickly um especially if they're taking like stuff from one chest to another uh cooking might be good we, we i remember making endless supplies of mush loaf food quality grizzly Oh, it's the minimum they'll require, or they'll tolerate for eating. She will only eat standard food. And her decor expectation is fairly high. Yeah. So she's going to get depressed pretty quickly. She's also a loud sleeper. As much as I hate to say it, I think we shuffle her out. I mean, we could just shuffle until we get someone similar, if we had to. Tinkering and immunity. I have someone a little bit more. Yeah, okay, Turner seems good. Biohazardous. Sometimes he gets sick. The core expectation is low. Good chef, good at digging. M maybe doesn't overlap 100%, but I'm okay with this. So let's look at this. Uncultured and a deep-seated distrust of the culinary arts. Congratulations, you're our Austin. I don't want to say that Austin is, un is uncultured. I'm just saying that he uh, doesn't consume that much media outside of streams of player unknowns Battlegrounds. And he orders DoorDash like every day, so it fits. Mole hands. Great for tunneling, but finding good gloves is a nightmare, and he gets sick often. Um, this really doesn't fit anybody, but I'm going to say that this is Mathis. He digs a lot because he plays a lot of survival games on YouTube, and um, I mean, I don't think he gets sick any more than the average person, but, you know, he digs a lot. Then we got Ashkan. Uncultured narcoleptic. I gotta be honest, it's a little Josh. Uncultured, his favorite movie of all time is Transformers 2. That's a lie. He would slap me if you heard me saying that. And he also, yeah, you might think this is a negative. It's just Northern Lion insults his friends. Not true. I envy Josh's ability to fall asleep standing up in a closet upside down. It's, it's a very relevant skill. Let's embark on our colony here. All right, it has actually been 100 years since I played. So we will take a little bit of time to uh, reacclimate ourselves. Your crew is awoken stranded inside a distant asteroid. Oddly, they can't recall how they got here. They'll need to survive to find answers. Okay, so we'll pause it up here quickly. 
Uh, graphically, it looks basically the same. We have a ration box that has some food in it. Colony requires toilets. What do we have down here? I have no idea what a shine bug is. Muckroot, bristle blossom, mealwood. So we probably want to, um, like, deconstruct right here. Or is this, sorry, this would be a dig. Deconstruct is only man-made tiles. And then we will want to, uh, perhaps dig a little bit over, what is this? Well, it, uh, plants produce oxygen, so I'm just going to issue a dig order, essentially, to give ourselves materials right now. Uh, and then after we have done that, we will be constructing... Is it furniture? No. Base? Ladder? Yeah, we'll be constructing a ladder down here. But first, hop to it. Speed one, they are going for broke. So day one, I have no idea what we're going to try to accomplish. We're going to try to get some toilets going. Um... I do see water. I actually see quite a lot of water, which is very good. I see quite a lot of copper not too far away. We're not surrounded by hydrogen gas, which seems very positive. And we have oxalite right here, which actually uh, is going to be great for emitting oxygen in the first place. There is a learning curve, though. And beyond there just being... Wait, wait, what are you building this out of? Sandstone. Hold up. What if I, yeah, cancel build. Cancel yourself as well. There's got to be a better way to do this. Just see? Yeah, okay. Um, cause sandstone might not be what we want. Okay, it's the only mineral we have. Overthinking it a little bit. By the way, welcome to uh, Northern Lion Plays a Strategy Game. <laughs> Sometimes there's a little bit of... Uh, I, I don't always play in the most optimal way, but you know, it's a nice game to sit down, grab a coffee or another beverage of your choice. We'll follow the trials of Josh, Mathis, and Austin here. Not a colony I would place money on surviving, but I'm not saying I would do better than any of them. I would love to have Austin on my survival team. Josh and Mathis are, are both, you know, they bring stuff to the table, I'm sure. Morale, of course. Let's look at our tips. So we do have our ladder. Um, we want to put our toilet somewhere down here. We're just not sure uh, at the present moment where. Now, the, the thing you need to know, in case you've forgotten, is that the game simulates physics to uh, more than a, a, a just basic degree. So, uh, gases have weights, and they also have densities and temperatures, etc., etc. So, oxygen is uh, lighter, or less dense, rather, than carbon dioxide. So, all other things being equal, like pressure, for example, temperature, oxygen will tend to float up to the surface, or uh, up to the highest possible point, and carbon dioxide, which are replicants, uh, duplicants, sorry, respire, and also, you know, other plants might... Well, plants consume it, I guess. Uh, they will uh, deposit that carbon dioxide, on average, lower down here. So we want to keep our bedrooms up high, because we want our colonists to not suffocate while they sleep. And we want to keep our toilets down low, so that all the toxic gas from, you know, Josh's stinky farts kind of maintain uh, being sequestered. That's my rudimentary analysis. Uh, on day one here, at least. So, uh, let's look at basic controls first. Just make sure we're not missing anything. Right, you can slow or speed up the game. You can use the dig tool to begin planning job tasks. And duplicate movement. If you're unsure how a task you've placed is accessible, select the duplicate and click show navigation. Okay. Um, I also want a bed for every colonist, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to get that done on the first day. It's kind of like RimWorld. Like, you might have a night or two where you sleep on the floor in kind of like a barracks-y type area. Um, so, what else do we need? Let's, let's say that this is toilet area, more or less right here. It's probably not amazing. We'd like to have it maybe a little deeper, but I think we can get away with it. So, um, we will make an outhouse. What is a pitcher pump? That's new. Manually pumps liquid into bottles for transport, okay? And a bottle emptier. Empties bottled liquids back into the world. I guess you would use this if you automated, like, a pitcher pump would pump maybe water into bottles, and then the bottle emptier would empty it out here if you had, like, a purification plant or something. I don't know. I'm looking forward to testing uh, all that stuff out. Um, could we uproot this, please? We are going to need... What are you? Ah, dude! There's a freaking... Uh, there's a demon here. Um, I have never had to fight anything in this game. Would you consider slaying 
the demon, please. You as well, Mathis, if you don't mind me saying so. Um, oh, you're, you're, you're on it. Zap it, dude! Mathis, he's freaking fleeing. Light wounds. That's all right. Austin is tearing it up. It's, it's battlegrounds all over again. Okay, so that's a, a very eventful start to the day here. Um, we get unrefrigerated meat, which honestly should just be eaten. And then Mathis has nothing to do, which is fine, actually, as much as it might not seem like it. Um, I forgot that we can just climb up there, so we don't necessarily need a ladder. All right, so suck this up. You doing better, Mathis? Hanging out near the uh, pure oxygen. I can respect that. Speed things up for a second. What time is it? Oh, it's cycle one, of course. What we need to do here is grab an outhouse, place it, and then probably dig out this stuff right here. I'm trying to play a little slower than normal, not just because I'm like relearning, um, but because I think that'll help me make less mistakes in the future as well. So we'll go back to normal speed. Now, once we have a toilet, um, the, okay, well, you guys might as well be doing something in the meantime here. So, I'm thinking uh, another thing that we're going to need is definitely a storage compactor. And for now, we'll just toss that right up here. And it is being made out of sandstone, which is perfect. And um, we, we probably want to tile all of the ground. This might be a little overkill for the very start, but... Probably want to tile all the ground that we regularly walk on. I guess we do have 5,000 tiles, so or 5,000 sandstone, rather. Because this gives a, a decor bonus. And, you know, physical health is an important thing in this game. So is mental health. Uh, usually, keeping colonists alive is not that that much of a problem, dare I say. Uh, but once they start to lose their minds, things become much more uh, complicated. We'll also probably roof in the outhouse. Insufficient resources doesn't have enough dirt. Sandstone. Dirt. Okay, well, we can, we can get dirt actually zero percent of problems so we'll issue another dig order takes you out to here and i'm assuming by the way when i played this last time um there were not a lot of uh oh you're cold huh there were not a lot of uh well i shouldn't say there weren't a lot of people who were playing the game but it was newer i'm assuming now we've got actual experts i'm gonna try to keep the backlog on the series as small as possible so that uh i can implement your tips that goes for you too michael al fox I, I pride myself on uh, surrounding myself with people smarter than I am. The colony will soon exhaust their supplies without a new food source. Usually, uh, what you do for that is you put metal into the microbe musher and you eat some gross microbe loaves. You can also start a farm. Pretty soon we're going to need oxygen as well, but that's alright. Take it slow. Or rather, start by taking it slow. So we're about halfway through day one, I think, here. Um, any chance you could pump some of this dirt into the outhouse so we can actually use it? Misses a foundation. That's fair. I mean, I did... Remove the foundation in order to tile it. Environments that are extremely hot or cold will affect your duplicate's internal body temperature and cause stress. Let's go to the temperature overlay. It's warm down here. 22.7. Up here, 21.6. Yo, it's pretty nice! Like, I don't want to necessarily call you out. I know, you know, hot air rises, cold air uh, sinks, but like 22 degrees, that's like an ideal temperature. What are you, what's wrong with you? You still got light wounds. Get over it, buddy. That's what I have to say about that. If you could stop dropping uh, dirt on top of my bathroom, that would be sweet as well. We also might want to start making doors early, uh, earlier than usual. Than I usually do, I should say. Um, so, but, and the other thing is, like, let's try to maintain things as uh, best as possible. Like, it's much easier for us. I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. It's much easier for us uh, to fill in tile uh, not all in one order. What I mean by that is uh, to do it as we go. That way we don't have to do, like, one episode that's just 90% us placing flooring. So, um, we're gonna close in our bathroom here with a pneumatic door. It does allow, uh... 
vapor through, if I remember correctly. But it, it helps partition our room as well here. Partition our, our building, I should say. All right. So I think our base is starting to look okay. The next thing I'm going to prioritize, um, you know, while we're here, it might be smart to maybe uproot this blue briar and, uh, and start placing some beds. They take 200 each. Uh, we'll, we'll try to spread them out. They do like to have their privacy. If I can at least put one tile between them, that'll do for now. And then later we can move these. It's essentially we're just making a barracks right now. Um, so why did I uproot this? Because I thought I was going to build over there. but uh, And we probably will eventually. But for now, I think that it's more important that they just get a good night's sleep however they can right now. Later, we'll probably try to move them up a little higher into like an attic or something. Who doesn't love sleeping in the attic? It's like a cool little uh, bat cave up there. Why are you so cold? It's 22 degrees Celsius. The game was made in Vancouver. That's like an ideal temperature for us. I'm upset at the lack of realism. Now, does the bathroom look good? No, it looks hideous. And then I was like, well, we could wall this up. But then I don't even, like, we got this junk down here. This is all stuff we'll figure out in due time. Next step, food. Uh, so to make food, we're going to need a water source, I believe. So we will actually probably tile up this area right here. Although I just said that that would be stupid. But it puts this so close to the water source that I think it's kind of like an optimal way to handle it. All right. It's never good in episode one when you find yourself questioning your own decisions. But we'll put a ladder here. And I think, it, how do, what's the deconstruct key? I'm assuming it's probably C. D? Deconstruct. X, okay. Give us our resources back, please. And then, we'll tile, like, I guess we don't need to take that one. We'll tile, like, here, 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 and we'll make, like, a second floor. But we'll let them do this first. I'm wasting a lot of time, probably, on day one, but my hope is that, you know... Uh, I've been guilty in my life previously. Oh, we're definitely going to need a ladder there as well. Um, or will we? Because I think we just want to maybe do it like this. I've been guilty in my life of, uh, you know, shooting first, asking questions later. And uh, I think there is some truth to the expression that, you know, a failure to plan is a plan to fail. You still can't get down there, huh? Well, we can build, like, a temporary ladder. My hope is that, you know, by... Optimizing things on day one, at least I feel like it's optimizing them on day one. Maybe we can get away with it, you know, and end up being a little bit better as a result. We still need the ladder to be constructed so that we can actually escape from here. And we'll probably want to go back down in the other direction anyway at some point. So maybe having two ladders here is not that bad. Then we'll build tile here, and all of a sudden we've got like three floors that we can operate on. And we killed an alien. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a pretty productive episode one, although you might feel differently. All right, it's almost nighttime. Uh, I'm just hopeful that uh, you guys are actually going to be able... I mean, I, I hate to do this, but you should also probably be deconstructed, and then we should dig, which is G, like so. And then construct tile under there. But that, it doesn't have to happen today. It doesn't have to happen today, I should say. But how many rations do we have left? Skill increase. Mathis' athletics was raised to one. Josh's athletics was raised to one. Let's view our cycle report. Generated zero oxygen. Oh, we're heavy breathers, dude. 142 kilograms of oxygen. But would that sm uh, fall faster than 142.2 kilograms of feathers? I don't know. Do not fall asleep. Right there, thank you. Um, and you can go to speed three overnight, as far as I'm concerned. Take a quick look at some graphs here. Temperature is, I believe, fine. Uh, oh, wait, that's not temperature. That's thermal comfort. There we go. Temperature seems good. Green is good. Oxygen, good for now, but uh, that can change pretty quickly as time goes on. And we are now waking up for day two, which I think might be the day we also get a, another duplicate, but I'm not sure. All right, so this stuff is all second priority. Most priority 
uh, is food source, and then I would also very much love to get, like, oxygen production of some variety handled today. But baby steps. We're going to start with the dig order for the area in which we're going to build our microbe musher. Congratulations, Josh. You used the toilet successfully. We also need, like, a... Um, I forget the word for it. We need, like, a garbage pail that we can put our, uh... Ooh, remove some germs from duplicates. That seems good. Uh, we need, we need an area for our, uh, replicants to put the poison dirt. And eventually, I guess we could turn that poison, contaminated dirt into, uh, regular dirt again. That was the problem, I think, um... In the, in the last update, or not the last update, but the, the last one that I played, like, nine months ago, uh, you basically just played the game until you ran out of sand, because you used sand for water filtration. Um, I wonder if that's changed. I'm not sure. I should check the subreddit. Okay, Josh just fell asleep. Honestly, I'm not as uh, perturbed by that as you might originally think. Mostly I'm relieved, because you can't get into too much trouble like that. What's your problem? Grimy? Full bladder? Well, Mathis, if you could maybe get out of the bathroom uh, slightly faster... You're just gonna eat that food that was underneath the toilet, huh? Well, she's also, like, light wounds. Grimy. Well, nobody's washing, so that seems fair. Uh, we need to build a microbe musher. Food. We need more metal in order to do it. What's our metal at right now? Zero. <laughs> I was like, sandstone's a metal? Sandstone is not a metal! Dig. Copper. As much as you can get it, at least. And there's uh, pretty plentiful copper stores, like, further up if we want them as well. I feel like we're off to a little bit of a slow start with this colony, but I'm, I'm not that uh, bummed by it. They are going to start eating each other pretty soon, though. And we're going to have to start making uh, work orders. Like, we need to make sure that we're making enough uh, mush loaf. Uh, even though the colonists won't be too happy, at least they'll be... Uh, At least they'll be full. And dude, I'm matter's important. Good food is always nice, but just having a belly full of cheese or something like that'll get the job done if necessary. Um, tip, germs and disease. Germs are an invisible peril. This is new, by the way. Uh, new to me, at least. That cause disease in your duplicants. The germ overlay will allow you to view all germ concentrations. Wash basins can be built in dirty areas from the medicine tab. To tell your duplicants where to wash up, if you keep your base clean and your duplicants hygienic, your colony's immunity will handle the rest. That sounds like we should definitely make a wash basin next. Uh, the microbe musher also needs power. I didn't consider that yet. Okay. So we're going to need, like, a battery... Uh, storage area. And we're gonna need power generation as well. Well, let's not put the, the horse in front of the cart then. We'll take a manual generator. And we might as well toss it down here for now. Remember, I, I'm having flashbacks now to when our colonists just like beat the Christ out of the generator and the batteries. So we need the metal that we just mined in order to build this. Obviously, we're going to need a wire here. Not a great uh, location for, like, a permanent battery storage is my guess, but that's okay for now. We're just trying to handle things as they come in. We need uh, food. To get food, we need to either plant a farm, which is going to take a while to come to fruition. Probably time we don't have right off the bat. Or we need power in order to power a microbe musher. So, uh, now this gives somebody something to do. They can spend all day running on the hamster wheel if they so choose. And do we still have the time to listen to me when... Okay. The other benefit of having everything tiled up early is that, uh, we can place... Austin's construction's been raised. We can place, um, wires that run through copper and then it doesn't lower the decor value. Which is, again, great for keeping our colonists, like, relatively happy with the way things look. We'll probably roll three colonists for now. I'm, I'm very hesitant to, to take things to the next level, necessarily. No fabrications queued. So I think you want to make three mushloves a day. Um, just dirt and water. 
you might, I can't remember. I mean, a normal human being needs uh, 2,000 calories a day on average. Uh, do our duplicants need 2,000 calories a day? Or do they need less? Or more, because they're working. Continuous. Continuously fabricate mush bar if resources are available. I don't know. Let's, let's start with six. It's either enough for every colonist to have two mush loaves a day, or enough for every colonist to have one mush loaf a day for two days. I'll accept either. Tip. Fetching water. In order to carry liquids, duplicants must first bottle them for transport, build pitcher pumps over pools of liquid from the plumbing tab of the build menu to pump those liquids into bottles. Duplicants will then automatically deliver the bottled liquids where they need to go. Build pitcher pumps over pools of liquid from the plumbing tab. Yo. This is the coolest thing ever. Build it! That did not exist last time I was in here. So now they don't just suck it up with their gun and go to town. I gotta see this working. I know we have insufficient uh, generation. I understand this. We might also need... Uh, a wash basin sooner rather than later. Which is in medicine? Yeah, okay. Building lacks resources. No kidding. Requires a supply of water. Decor plus 10%. Great news. Alright, we'll put a wash basin right next to the toilet. Maybe we should put it on the other side? I don't know. We also need to sweep. Like, were you guys raised in a barn or something? Like... I get that it's not a nice colony, uh, necessarily, but at the same time, the only way it's gonna get nice is if you guys actually clean up after yourselves. Take your time. Dude, the pitcher pump looks pretty cool. I'm down with that. Uh, and it's almost nighttime. What we wanna plan for tomorrow is oxygen. So we have an, al uh, an algae deoxidizer converts algae into oxygen. I think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think we want to have algae deoxidizers, um... On the bottom? Because we want to keep them in areas, not on the bottom necessarily, but on like the lowest layer of human uh, habitation. Because when they have equal atmospheric pressure, um, or when maximum pressure is reached, I should say, they'll stop pumping. So we want them to not pump when there's a ton of oxygen. Which means I want them to be in the area of lowest oxygen concentration so that they're almost always pumping as long as they have the resources. Um, but for now, what I will do is probably just place one like here. Or here maybe. And uh, I know we need water for it and I know we need algae for it, but... I don't necessarily think it's a bad idea. This uh, ration box is fine. I'm also going to make a quick storage compactor. I'm going to set it to only accept food once it's con uh, constructed here. That way we have like a nice little workflow type area over here. I would like this to all be swept up though. I think I'm cracking. <laughs> okay. So we don't need to go that far necessarily. Um, I don't know how much, how much oxygen does a, an algae deoxidizer convert. We'll wait until it's constructed, I suppose. Details. Yeah, I do not know. A lot of that is high school level science, and as a result, I'm not qualified to, uh... to analyze it that fully. Usually on day two, you get another duplicant, but, uh... Next one's at 0 0.8 cycles, okay. The sweeping orders are taking forever. Like, actually a million years. Which is fine, because I prioritized it, so I don't necessarily feel like a very smart guy right now, but uh, it's got to be done. Alright, it's bedtime. Look at our cycle 2 report. Calorie generation. Okay, so you use 6,000 calories a day, so we want to make 6 uh, loaves a day. We'll want to make eight once we get another duplicate, which may happen soon. But uh, for now, that's going to do it for episode 1. 
We've got a nice little quaint colony that is totally not hurtling towards disaster. Allow me to say if you enjoyed the episode, first off, consider checking out the game for yourself on Steam. It's 25 bucks, a very robust colony sim, ant farm diorama type thing that I quite enjoy. Um, it's a local developer to me as well. Not that that factors in that much for everybody, but uh, yeah, there'll be a link in the video description below to check it out. If you enjoyed the episode, you want to see more of them, please click the like button. It shows me you want to see more of it and you like what you see. It helps me out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future as well. New episodes every single day. For now, I look forward to joining you in my alien ant farm. And I'll see you tomorrow.